So first of all, I'm going to have a sip of tea and I'm going to crack on with some emails and just do a little bit of admin like I always do in the morning and then we'll see what we've got to do. emails I have just scheduled out a video a YouTube video and hopefully I'll get a chance to film that today so if I do I will film like the process and show you behind the scenes a little bit which could be quite interesting so last night I had basically a crazy artist night I probably created the most paintings I've ever made in one evening so basically I started making art about four o'clock I just had some different ideas and just wanted to try them out and they were completely new and experimental. So yeah, so it started about four o'clock in the evening, well, like afternoon, and it went on till two o'clock this morning. But yeah, I made quite a lot of art. So these were all made in black watercolor and they were just very expressive in the moment. I didn't plan any of them. I didn't draw them before I painted them. I just used my brush it's even very quite haphazardly painted. Can't you see what love and romance this was the first one I did and I just was playing around with the paint and then I was like, hmm, I kind of like that effect. I feel like it would be amazing like if I could ever get these printed on like a duvet or you know like a bed a bed set I don't know what you call it like yeah just like a duvet set basically I think that would be so amazing to be able to achieve that one day and then these are some smaller works so these are all about like a3 size I think a3 um and then these are little little paintings to me I'm not the same as I used to be this is and all of these paintings were done on like high quality paper this is Archer's aquarelle basically then I created the painting behind me which is completely different so as you can see this is an abstract painting um, obviously it's not finished yet because I don't feel like there's enough interest and I want to add some more flicks of paint and some more little bits of interest like this um, but yeah I feel like it's coming on and we've all seen colouring books but this is a watercolouring book and I just thought it was really cool and I've not opened it yet so I could show you guys so basically um, kind of like an adult colouring book but instead of using pencils because personally um, I do have one of those adult colouring books but I just do really enjoy like using pencils and pen particularly I just find paint a lot more free and I love using a brush so when I saw this I thought that is going to be perfect this is a really really beautiful product it wasn't very expensive at all because it was so cheap I was actually wondering if it was going to be the same pattern on every page but it's not these are just to practice your painting skills I think now I use this more as like a relaxation slash mindfulness moment with my cup of tea maybe in the morning or evening or if I feel a bit stressed um, but I know that when I first started painting I really would have loved using one of these just to get my practicing just to practice my painting skills and not my drawing skills necessarily so I could focus on one bit at a time. This would have been perfect. Obviously I didn't draw it because I was using this pad with like colouring in but it's a really good way just to practice your painting skills. I would recommend um, having a quick google search for that or I'll pop the link in the description for this exact product if I can. So I think next I will probably start filming my other YouTube video and 
yeah, hopefully that will go smoothly. Sometimes it can take me like about an hour to, before I even start filming to actually set up. So like set up the background to make sure it's not too messy and that it looks nice. And just setting up my camera right on the right settings, clearing memory cards, making sure batteries are charged. Oh, there's like so many things to think about. Yeah, I think I'm gonna film a YouTube video next. I'm gonna be filming a YouTube video whilst I'm filming a YouTube video. If you've ever wanted to see what someone looks like once they're filming a YouTube video, keep watching. This is what I am gonna like let the camera see. And behind it is this big mess. Um, I use a Nikon D5200. Um, this is the microphone which I recently got because everyone was complaining about my sound quality. This is a fairly recent purchase. It's basically just like a huge screen so that when I'm sat down there, the light from the window is like reflected so I've not got like a shadow down the side of my face. It will be quite interesting because this is what the camera will see but this is what I see. Not nearly as interesting as you think it's gonna be. I just bought a little remote off eBay. I think it was like £1.50. Just make sure everything's okay in the background. And then you can press record straight away and it will be the same settings. So there is a little tip for any of you YouTubers out there. This is my remote and I'm gonna go test shot. So yeah, I won't tell you like too much about the video because you'll have to go and see it. I've just made a smoothie. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is like a giant jumbo straw. It makes the smoothie look really small, but actually <laughs> it is pretty big. So in this is celery, carrot, spinach, ginger and cucumber. Smoothies are really good because I would never sit and eat a plate with celery on and spinach and ginger <laughs> and frozen carrot like I would never eat that for breakfast but in a smoothie form it just makes it so much easier to get those greens down you. I mean it doesn't taste gorgeous I'm not gonna lie. Postman just came and guess what he brought. So let's see what's inside. <laughs> Box, you have come up with an amazing month's art supplies. I love it. I can't wait to use these. So first of all, we've got these little watercolors, which are the brand Van Gogh. And we've got Prussian Blue, which I cannot wait to use because I don't think I have a Prussian Blue. And we've got a Permanent Lemon Yellow and Cerulean Blue. I've heard very, very good things about Van Gogh watercolors. I've never used them personally. So I'm really, really excited to use these. A pencil correction pen. So I'm guessing this is a bit like um, Tipex. I don't know if Tipex is like worldwide, but in the UK we have Tipex and like basically where white ink comes out. So that's going to be interesting to use. The next thing are these beautiful watercolour pencils and I cannot wait to use these. I feel so lucky to be able to get these in this month's scroll box because they just, I mean, for a start, what beautiful colours, but Hohenor. I think that's supposed to be like a really really good brand so I'm really excited to use these. These all work very very well with this water brush that I use because these are watercolour pencils that you obviously put on the paper first and then you can use water to sort of blend. I've got these sea white brushes which I love sea white brushes I think they're fantastic. I always struggle to link to them in the description box so I'm sorry if I've not popped a link in to those brushes, um, but we'll see how they perform. And also this paper, so it's 190 gram. So I'm used to using more like 300 grams, so it's a little bit flimsy for my liking. So let's get started and create something. Didn't you like lemonade? 
finished product and it's a galaxy um quick review of the materials i would have liked to use a black paint so all i used was um the materials in the box so i used the black pencil but i think i would have got a darker black using paint this also i found very difficult to control so if you are looking for something to make like white dots i wouldn't necessarily recommend this one instead maybe find a gel pen or just use a white gouache i think would probably be the best it is now half past 12 and i'm super hungry so i'm gonna go and get some dinner i'm gonna show you the process of how i package my art print because a lot of you ask about packaging artwork and sending it away. First of all, I always sign my prints and then I make sure that they're protected so I wrap them in a plastic cellophane wrapper. Then I cut a piece of white foam board to size just to make sure that the corners don't bend or it doesn't get bent in the post. Then I wrap it in some nice white acid free tissue paper and use some silver twine to hold it all together. I love to write a little handwritten note with every print that I send and I also just pop in a business card and put a little sticker on it just to make it look so cute. So I think I'm going to leave the vlog there guys, I've got a bit more work to do on my laptop and I'll probably edit some videos but it's all going to be pretty boring to watch from now on so I just want to thank you so so much for joining me today and I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!